Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Bra Productions, and today we're going to be learning how to make explosions in Sony Vegas. Check it out. This effect is very simple, but can show a lot of meaning in your action films. Um, this, this goes for explosions, muzzle flashes, um, blood splatter, whatever you have. Um, it, it works for generally most things in the same same category. But anyway, um, first you're going to need your, your footage, obviously. Imitate there's an explosion, and then you're going to have to actually find the explosion you want from either a product or online. You can go to detonationfilms.com right here, and they actually offer some free stock footage of explosions, muscle flashes, blood squirts. You just got to look around. You'll find them. They're free. It's great stuff. Um, also, you can go to videocopilot.net and buy Action Essentials and Action Essentials 2, which just came out. Action Essentials 2 is a great product, I must say. But today we're going to be working with an explosion I found on detonationfilms.com for free. So I have my footage. I found this picture of a house, and we're going to make an explosion behind it. Now, let's get started. All right, I have my house layer right here. Let me find my stock footage. All right, here we go. This is just a couple stock footage things I found from uh, Detonation Films. And as you can see, there was the blast. It's a great blast. Looks awesome. And we're just going to drag it onto its new video layer. Now, let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer. Or, you know, the, the video footage you have. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to make one a background and then one as our foreground if you want something to blow up behind it. Um, if, if you're making the explosion totally in the film, like it's not behind anything, you will not need this layer. As in, you would just shut it off or don't even do it at all. Um, I am getting a phone call. Anyway, uh, we are going to make it behind the house. So, we have this layer, which if we click Event Pan Crop, we can go, oh, go up here. We can click Mask. Now, this is only in Pro. So, if you have Pro, um, or if you don't have Pro... You, can, you can't make explosions happen behind things, as in behind this house. But if you do have Pro, then this works out great. So we're going to click Mask. We're going to select the Pin Tool, and we're just going to go around what we want to be in front of the explosion, as in the house. So you can make this much more detailed. It's up to you. I'm just trying to save some time. Um, I would do it as detailed as possible just to get the most alluring effect from the explosion. So we can just cut this off and shabam. Now, we have that layer. Now when you close out of this, it's going to look like you did nothing, only because, you know, it's the same layer on top of it, just cut out. Alright, so we have the mass layer on top. Now we want to add the explosion into our footage. To do that, we're going to click on this little button with the little green film and it looks like it says CC. You're going to click it and click Add. Um, and now it's in the video. doesn't look very good because we are going to have to move it to where we want. And since we planned for the explosion to be on the side, the side of the house will not matter. Check it out. Um, right behind there, that should be good. And uh-oh, I made it too short. So let's go back and fix that really fast. We can go back and adjust our mass, select the normal edit tool, which is just like the mouse cursor, and then select one point and just drag it over because, you know, we don't want the explosion to look that big, unless you want it to, of course. Now it's fixed. And then we can go in back into the event pan crop on our, uh, our stock footage, and let's make it to where this does not show up in the black bars. So we're going to click mask once again, and you're just going to make a straight line. Ooh, a little bit too far, about right there. That's not a very straight line. Uh, you can actually, oop, I'm not very good at this. You can actually select the mouse tool, or normal edit tool, click on one point. We'll set the x axis to 500, and then the one below it to 500. Now it's a perfectly straight line. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. And then you're going to want to select the mode of the path to be negative. 
So it cuts out what you mass rather than leaving only that. As in, that's what add does. Um, so now it's completely in the film, or in here, and it looks good. Except most of these detonation films come with a little mini intro. So you can just hold Alt, Control, Shift until we see the explosion disappear, which is about right there, and just drag the footage there. So now that's not there anymore. So now we just have the explosion happening behind the house. That is awesome. Now you'll see the explosion looks kind of fake and, uh, and has, it's all white and blurred out. One thing I found to help this is to duplicate the layer and select screen to go under it. This adds some, some extra color on the lighter areas of the video and right, like right here where, you know, it looked all white and faded out like smoke when it should be the fire from the explosion. Um, so there we have it. We have an explosion behind the house. Um, it looks like a big cloud. You want to play the cloud guessing game? It's a fun game. Anyway, uh, I think it looks like Pac-Man. You see the little thing? Anyway, okay, this has gotten stupid. Um, uh, and now we should add some, some glow. Because obviously a f an explosion makes things light up. Because that's fire. It makes light. Okay, so let's emit some light. We're going to select our background layer and go to video effects and then, oh no, what am I doing? We're going to go to glow. You can add any of these effects because they're just presets. It's all the same effect. And you're going to drag it on there. Now it's going to be all white and that doesn't look so hot. So drag the color to be around yellow, or whatever you think matches the explosion best, which is about that. Um, let's take the suppression up just a tad, the intensity a little bit higher in the glow percent, take it around just so it's not so sharp on the actual sky, because we're trying to get more on the ground than we are with the sky. So there we go. Let's animate it to go with the explosion. So if we go back into the timeline, move it over here so we can see, we can move this see exactly when the explosion happens. Now we want the pinnacle of the glow to be about right mm, there-ish. It's all up to you when you want it to be. So we're going to move what we just edited, the keyframe, right there. Then we're going to go back and look at when the frame or when the explosion first starts. And we're going to click intensity and put it at zero. So now it animates up and gets nice and yellowy and then make it about twice as long as how long this is and set it back to zero. If you want, you can set it to smooth. I kind of like that. It just makes me feel happy. You probably won't be able to tell the difference. So now, it's going to be a little skippy. The sky and the surroundings turn a certain color, which looks pretty good. Um, then you can do the same thing on the foreground layer of the house, and we'll change it to a yellow. That doesn't look so good. looks like the inside of the house is on fire. Um, change the suppression down a little bit just so it glows on certain parts of the house. Um, you can take the intensity however you like, I would say about right there-ish. Um, and then glow percent, which I like to just call it feathering out the glow. Um, and then we can do the same thing we just did with the other one with the keyframes. And we'll move it to about right there. Move that one. Set it back zero and then set it back to zero again and we'll click smooth to make me happy mmm happy let's go eat some cookies um so now it's it's working great everything looks awesome <laughs> we have some glow effects from the explosion and and it looks somewhat realistic i mean for video editing you know this has looked pretty good um also we can add in a quick flash um, that is relatively easy to do. We'll go to Media Generators, go to the Solid Color Presets, and put in White. Um, no, I don't want to change the color. I picked White for a reason. Um, and we'll set it about that long. And then we will look at when the explosion happens. Again, by clicking, or we'll go ahead and mute the video, so we, or the white, so we can see the video. Again, we'll click Alt, Control, Shift to go through with the frames with the, with the wheel on the mouse. And then we'll see right about couple frames into the explosion, about right there. 
So let's drag this about four or five frames past that. We'll add a quick fade and then make it about three or four times longer and add another fade going down. And then change the fade type to this one, whatever you want to call that, you know. It, it goes down and stays down for a sec. I like that because it makes it more of a flash rather than a, uh, a, a fade, I guess. And then you can do the same thing, but do the opposite one, like that, so it makes a nice hill. Now, we're going to see this. It might be a little skippy. Whoop. Okay, we couldn't see it. But, you know, that's what rendering is for. Um, and then, um, if you want to, you can add in so many more things. You can add more glow layers. You can adjust the glow. You can use different effects, color correction, whatever you want to use to make the make the lighting fit the uh, the explosion better. And remember that make the explosion look realistic to your film. If you're filming in nighttime with a digital or digital camcorder, there's going to be a lot of video noise. So you want to go to video effects and add add noise, and then make the noise adjust the effects until it matches the video, and that'll make it look so much more realistic, along with giving it a brightness and contrast to make it fit the video much better. Um, it's very easy to put explosions in videos. It's very hard to make them realistic. Um, just thinking about what it would look like if it was actually in the scene, well, make it that much better. Um, and then all you gotta do is just find some awesome sound effects and you should be set. Again, you can duplicate the, uh, the, the explosion layer and mess with these, these maps and change the overall look. Oh, well that's not a good one. And you can add another ad or whatever you want to make it as realistic looking as, as you can. Um, and then again, you can do m some color correction on the whole video. It will make it look a lot more realistic. Well, this is a pretty easy effect and hopefully it helps you guys. If you have any questions, message me and I make tutorials uh, all the time. So make sure you subscribe and stay up to date. Hope you guys have a fantastic day making some sick explosions. Uh, make sure to send any videos that you use this tutorial with uh, and send it as a video response. I would love to see your work. Um, I'll tell you how it is and, and stuff. I'm excited to see some awesome stuff. Well, um, you guys have a great day, and yeah, hope I helped you out. See ya.